In this episode, a young woman buys a mysterious statue at Goodwill, only to have an elderly lady claim it was hers. But that's just the beginning of a bizarre confrontation that will leave you speechless. But first, am I the butthole for saying my sister's family can't temporarily move in with me and my wife due to their pets? Posted by Odd King 3931. I, 30 year old male, have been married to my wife Naomi, 29 year old female, for three years, but have been together for over 10 years and we are expecting our first child together. Naomi is currently 6.5 months pregnant and I am not going to lie, but her pregnancy is considered high risk and our doctor advised her to avoid any stressful situations because of it. About six months ago, my sister Kate, 38 year old female, have bought a new built house with her husband Bob. 40-year-old male, so they can accommodate all my nephews, who are 17-year-old male, 15-year-old female, 7-year-old female, 7-year-old female and twins are 14 months old. Their house is 6 bedroom, extra bedroom is used as Bob's hobby room. Bob is a lot into insects and spiders, so he has a few tarantulas, cockroaches, etc. Now to the issue. Latest survey has discovered that Kate's house is not safe to live in due to some construction issues. I don't know why it hasn't been picked up earlier, but now they have nowhere to live and have started a legal battle against the company responsible for building the house to get their money back. Currently they cannot afford to buy another house or rent as prices for the places for rent are way too high in their area. Due to this my sister has asked me if they can temporarily move in with me and Naomi, since Naomi inherited a large house from her parents. It is an older Victorian house that still requires a lot of work, so far we have only replaced all the windows to keep the warmth in. The house has enough space for my sister and her family, and I said they can move in with us as long as they don't bring their tarantulas and other insects with them as my wife is terrified of spiders, to the point of passing out or having a sever panic attack, and Bob has them escaping frequently. Bob refused. This resulted in a massive argument where I was called in butthole for not providing my sister and her family with accommodation at the time of need over some spiders. What would you do if your wife is terrified of spiders? Would you allow your sister and her family to move in with them? Do you think it's fair for Bob to refuse to leave his hobby behind, even if it's causing tension in the household? What do you think? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. It seems unfair that Bob refuses to leave his beloved tarantulas behind, and instead chooses to prioritize them over his sister-in-law's well-being and safety, especially given the high risk of pregnancy complications for Naomi. One would expect family members to put each other's needs before their own desires, especially in times of crisis. A comment from Bamfun1701. Not the butthole. It's your house. You can set whatever conditions you want on it, and considering your wife's fears, no spiders is entirely reasonable. Your sister and her family needs to understand that they are not in a position to make demands at this point. That big house or not, that being willing to take in all those people for an indeterminate amount of time, even without the spiders, when your wife is expecting is incredibly generous. Mobzil commented. Not the butthole, they're being choosing beggars and you can set any guidelines or boundaries you want. You do not have to make any compromises that is on them. If they want to accept your generosity, might I say, you are very generous for this, then they have to get rid of the spiders or put them up somewhere else temporarily while they live with you. Add in the fact that your wife is pregnant, you need to stand your ground on this. Take it or leave it. Am I the butthole for buying something someone had already claimed? Posted by Sunny543. So I, 22-year-old female, was at Goodwill the other day looking around. On one of the shelves I noticed a basket turned upside down, picked it up to look at it, I was looking for a container to put my jewelry in, and found this really pretty little marble statue underneath. Like one of those ones of a lady with the arms and head cut off. I really liked it and it was only 5 bucks, so I decided to get it. But this lady near me noticed what I was holding and said, oh, this other lady was looking at that. I think she hid it under the basket so no one else would see it. I asked if she was gonna buy it, the lady said she wasn't sure. She looked around and said she didn't see the woman anywhere. I felt a little bad but I carried it around for a while looking at other stuff, and figured if that lady saw me holding it she could come argue with me if she felt like it. After maybe 10-15 more minutes of looking, I was ready to leave and went to the checkout. Right when I set my stuff down I heard this voice say, are you kidding me? 
and this older lady came up right next to me and put her hand on the statue. I noticed a man was with her, probably her husband. I was gonna buy this, I hid it, it's mine, she said. I don't like confrontation, but I was also kinda mad that she was already getting in my face. I said I've been carrying this around, and you haven't come up to talk to me about it until now. I didn't know you were set on buying it. Well, didn't you notice it was hidden? I was making up my mind, and I hid it so no one else would see it, and I decided I'm gonna buy it. Someone told me a lady was looking at it, but I didn't know you were gonna buy it. I'm sorry, I am already getting it. And we both looked at the poor cashier, who kind of shrugged and said, yeah, I mean she's already up here buying it. And you can't really call dibs on something, you haven't purchased it yet. Then the lady's husband gets involved and says, con kid, let her have the statue. We're gonna put it on the dining room table. Where are you gonna put it, your desk? And I said, yep, I am because I am buying it. They both just kind of scoffed and looked at each other like I was some young punk who had just disrespected them or something. I give the cashier my card, I sign for it, he hands me my bag, meanwhile they're still standing there. I don't think either wanted to do something as blatant as physically take it from me. The lady said you want it that bad, even though I already was going to buy it? I've been looking for a decoration like this for months. Are you going to un alive if you don't have it? And I said yes I am, and I walked out because I didn't feel like fighting anymore. Meanwhile they followed me outside, and lucky me we parked near each other, saying stuff like no respect and unbelievable. And I swear to God, I think the woman even said, what a little bored before she closed her door. What do you think about the lady's behavior? Was she right to hide the statue and claim it as hers? How would you have handled the situation if you were in the OP's shoes? Would you have argued with the lady or just let her have the statue? It's unfortunate that the lady didn't respectfully communicate her intentions to purchase the statue before accusing the OP of trying to steal it. It's also questionable why the husband felt the need to follow the OP outside and continue berating them. A comment from A. Meigs. Not the butthole. You don't get to hide things from other customers when you are deciding whether to buy it. The entitled arrogance of the sort of person that thinks they can hide things in a shop to call dibs on them and expect other people to respect that is beyond belief. Munchkins and Dragons commented. Not the butthole. Proper ways to claim an item while you are still thinking about if you want it. Hold it in your hand. Put it in a cart. Put it in a basket. Take it to the register and say I'd like to buy this item. Could you hold it here for me? Hiding merchandise within, under or behind other merchandise doesn't constitute a valid claim. As someone else coming across it triggers their ability to invoke the age-old rule of finders keepers. Check out our playlist with all our videos. You can find it in the description box below. Am I the butthole for saying my brother's stepdaughter is not gorgeous? Posted by Substantial Seat Wu, 1965. My brother and sister-in-law have two daughter 14-year-old Femilebria, that is his and 16-year-old Femileia, that is hers. The problem is my sister-in-law. Every time someone compliments Bria, we must also compliment Leah, otherwise she will get mad. For example, if I tell Bria that she is very talented in something, sister-in-law will interrupt me and say, but isn't Leah also very talented? It's annoying. I can't say a single word to my niece unless I say it to Leah too. A few days ago, we were at their home and the girls were getting ready to go to a party. Bria was looking absolutely gorgeous, so I told her, oh my god, Bria, you look gorgeous. Sister-in-law interrupted me again and said, but isn't Leah very gorgeous? I finally snapped and said no. She is not, she looked at me shocked and said what the hell is wrong with you to say that. I told her it I didn't want to say that but since she wanted to know I answered truthfully. If she thinks her daughter is gorgeous, then she should tell her but she can't expect people to compliment her. Now she thinks I am a butthole. Do you think it's fair for sister-in-law to expect everyone to compliment both daughters equally? How would you handle this situation if you were in the OP's shoes? It's unfortunate that sister-in-law has made it a rule to compliment one twin only if the other is also complimented, which can be perceived as an attempt to undermine Bria's individuality and uniqueness. It's understandable that OP snapped and told the truth that Leah is not gorgeous, but it would have been better to avoid saying so. Disastrous Chris, 701 commented. Everybody sucks here. She's annoying. You were cruel. You should have said, of course, both girls are beautiful. But it's not a competition, and I don't have to compliment everyone each time, it's ridiculous. 
A comment from Vision Creation Sana. You the butthole. You told a 16-year-old girl that she's not gorgeous after complimenting her sister? That's horrible. Imagine how she must feel hearing that, especially as a 16-year-old girl. You are absolutely the butthole. Am I the butthole for telling my mother she hasn't been my mom since I was 5 and I don't owe her anything? Posted by Western Technician 44. When I, 24-year-old female, was 5 my mother had her second child, my sister. We have different dads and neither was involved when we were kids. My sister was born prematurely and this is when my mother went from being my mom to being an almost stranger to me. She spent all her time at the hospital with my sister and I was passed around from friends to family and even to strangers my mother and I didn't know because an aunt would hand over to someone in her husband's family or a family friend would pass me on to their friend. My sister was in the hospital for months and had many complications from being born so early. So it was one of the youngest preemies in the hospital's history. When she started to get strong enough to go home complications due to her stomach were found and that required more time and more treatments. My mother was in and out of the hospital with her for the next couple of years as they performed surgeries and gave treatments when she would get sick. At that point, even when my mother was home with my sister, she would keep me somewhere else normally, and the times I was home with her, I was left alone, and her focus was my sister. Then when my sister was two, she was diagnosed with leukemia and that resulted in more treatments, more hospital visits and just never ever seeing them. By the time I was 10, my mother was okay leaving me at home while they were at the hospital so I was alone. It was around this time that my teachers started to suggest I might have dyslexia, and the school reacted out to my mother, but she was too focused on my sister to do anything for me. Nothing changed after my sister became cancer-free and she was less sick and needed the hospital less. My mother was so devoted to her that she didn't pay attention to me and both were strangers to me. I started staying with my girlfriend's family as a teenager and my mother didn't care. I would only go back to her house when I needed to pick up more of my clothes or stuff. And when I turned 18, I moved out officially and got my dyslexia diagnosis. Now several years on I don't really have anything to do with my mother or my sister. I don't blame my sister for any of this. It's just no bond could form when we were younger and she's a stranger to me. My mother has started to have some health problems and turned to me for help. She told me I should be around more and doing stuff to help her because she's my mom. She also said my sister deserves a relationship with me and accused me of punishing my sister for existing. I told her that wasn't true but we were strangers and that was because of her, my mother. I also told her she hadn't been my mom since I was 5 and she had no right to ask me to care for her when she hasn't cared for me in almost 20 years. She called me a selfish and spoiled child who never grew up. Am I the butthole? Do you think the OP was justified in telling their mother that they were strangers? Do you think the OP's mother is responsible for the lack of bond between the OP and their sister? It's absurd for a mother to expect her adult child to care for her when she didn't care for them as a child. It's also wrong for a mother to blame her child for not having a relationship with their sister when it was the mother who prioritized one child over the other. A comment from Fermasha. Not the butthole. What you said was true. Your mom has never been around for you unfortunately. Your mom neglected you and this is the result. If your sister wants a relationship with you, which might still be possible, it will be up to her to do the legwork and you'd have to make it clear you don't want anything to do with your mom or your mom getting involved in your relationship. Everly commented. First you got neglect. Now you are getting verbal abu. You deserve better, OP. Not the butthole. If you like this content, please consider subscribing. We post new Reddit stories every single day. Have a miavelous day and see you in the next one.